On July 1, 2025, astronomers across the world stared at their data in disbelief. Something impossible had entered our solar system, an object unlike any other ever seen. It was the third confirmed interstellar visitor in recorded history, and it was already drifting silently into the asteroid belt, the dangerous region of space lying between Mars and Jupiter. What began as an innocent detection soon spiraled into the greatest mystery humanity has ever faced. As you watch this unfolding story, make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss the shocking revelations still to come, because what you're about to hear could rewrite our understanding of life, the cosmos and even ourselves right now. The object known as Three High Atlas is cutting through the asteroid belt like a blade of light. Scientists originally predicted it would pass through safely, without incident, but nothing about this strange visitor has behaved according to expectations. Like most comets, its speed is increasing as it approaches the Sun. By late October 2025, it is expected to reach its peak velocity, 152,000 miles per hour. But the speed is not what unsettles scientists. It is everything else. Ever since its discovery, 3i Atlas has defied every known model of cometary behavior. Just weeks ago, Astronomers witnessed it glowing far brighter than predicted, a flare so intense it overwhelmed some of the most advanced sensors on Earth and in orbit. No one can explain this sudden burst of light. And when the object was first spotted, it didn't resemble a normal comet at all. Typical comets glow because sunlight reflects off a halo of gas and dust, the coma, surrounding their icy cores. But 3 by Atlas emitted light directly from its surface. Was it producing its own illumination? The question sent shockwaves through the astronomical community. Some proposed a natural explanation, suggesting an unusual layer of dust or an exotic surface composition reflecting sunlight in a unique way. Others whispered darker possibilities, that this was not a comet at all but a spacecraft cleverly disguised as one. The reddish hue of its surface only deepened the mystery. Was it a coincidence or a deliberate camouflage? As it drew closer to Mars, the strangeness intensified. The object's color shifted seemingly overnight, from deep crimson to an eerie green glow. Such a transformation is rare but not unheard of. Many comets shine green when dicarbon molecules evaporate from their surfaces. Yet, spectral analysis of 3 di Atlas revealed almost no dicarbon at all. Instead, the James Webb Space Telescope detected a baffling chemical cocktail. Enormous amounts of carbon dioxide, traces of nickel, and even cyanogen, a deadly compound once proposed for use in chemical warfare. None of these are known to create the brilliant green fluorescence we are seeing now. The glow must be caused by something else, perhaps an unknown gas, perhaps a hidden energy source. A few bold scientists have suggested the unthinkable, that 3i Atlas may be powered by a concealed artificial reactor, drawing on nuclear or other advanced technologies beyond our understanding. The possibility is unnerving. Rapid brightening can sometimes be explained by outbursts, when volatile materials buried beneath a comet's surface suddenly evaporate as the sun's heat intensifies, releasing plumes of gas and dust. But this process, while dramatic, is natural. Thraeti Atlas, however, has been unpredictable. Its brightness has surged not in smooth curves, but in sudden violent bursts, as if something were deliberately throttling its output. Its color shift its green glow, its fluctuating luminosity. All of it points to an origin far stranger than a mere chunk of interstellar ice. And then came the theory that changed everything. In a widely read article, Harvard astronomer A.V. Loeb proposed that 3i Atlas might not be a natural object at all. He suggested it could be a vessel, an interstellar traveler capable of releasing smaller probes while passing through our solar system. According to his analysis, the erratic brightening could signify controlled fragmentation, the mothership breaking off small pieces and sending them toward Mars or other nearby worlds. The implications were staggering. If true, we weren't merely observing a rock, we were witnessing an active system, a craft, a plan, even stranger. The origin of 3i Atlas aligns almost perfectly with the direction of the Sagittarius constellation, the very region of the sky where unexplained radio signals have been detected for decades, including the infamous WOW signal. Could there be a connection? Could this object be the next step in a pattern we've been too blind to see? The object's trajectory raises more questions. 
Unlike typical comets that wander into the solar system at random angles, 3I Atlas travels almost perfectly parallel to the plane of our planets, too precise, some argue, to be coincidence. It has made calculated close approaches to several neighbouring worlds, yet carefully avoided Earth, and when it reaches its closest point to the Sun in December, it will pass directly behind the Sun from our perspective, as if hiding in the glare, concealing its movements from our instruments. This manoeuvre would provide perfect cover for an artificial craft. From Earth, the Sun's brightness would mask any changes in speed, direction, or even the release of smaller probes. At the same time, proximity to the Sun would offer an enormous energy source for recharging or refueling. If an alien civilization wanted to slip through our system unnoticed, there would be no better tactic. Before 2017, we had never detected a single interstellar visitor. Now in less than a decade, three have appeared. Umwamwa in 2017, 2Y Borisov in 2019, and now 3I Atlas. Is this coincidence or a pattern? Could these objects represent stages of a larger plan? The evidence deepens. When scientists compared the electromagnetic signature of 3I Atlas to archived data from Umwamua, they discovered something chilling. The exact same 47 Hz frequency was briefly detected in the tail of Umwamua before it left our solar system. But in 3I Atlas, the signal is louder, more sustained and far more complex. It's as if the first visitor was only a whisper, and this one is a voice. Some researchers now theorize that Oumuamua was a reconnaissance probe, a silent scout sent to assess Earth's readiness. Thretai Atlas, then, may be the key, the active component of a system spanning years, perhaps even multiple star systems. And just when astronomers thought they had mapped its trajectory, the unthinkable happened. Telescopes in Chile and Hawaii detected a subtle but undeniable course shift, one that couldn't be explained by gravity, solar wind, or any known natural force. The object veered off its projected arc, aligning with a new vector closer to Earth's orbital plane. The timing of this maneuver was uncanny. It occurred precisely when the James Webb Telescope had achieved its optimal tracking position, as if the object knew it was being watched. This was no random drift. This was decision-making. Emergency meetings were called at NASA, ESA, and private research institutions worldwide. The implications were clear. If Umwamua had been a passive observer, 3I Atlas was something far more active. A ship, a messenger, a machine, and the signals it sends are not random noise. Independent cryptographers analyzing its electromagnetic pulses have found embedded patterns, Fibonacci sequences, prime number spirals, and even the golden ratio. These are not arbitrary. They are universal constants recognized by any species capable of mathematics, a cosmic language designed to transcend worlds and civilizations. The signals even fluctuate in response to solar activity and Earth's own radio emissions, as if aware of its environment. And of us, James Webb's spectroscopic analysis uncovered something else, something even more unsettling. Complex organic molecules coat the surface of 3 I Atlas, compounds so pure and organized they resemble precursors to life itself, arranged with precision no natural process should allow. Some scientists have begun whispering about a seed ship, an ancient vessel designed to plant the building blocks of life on chosen worlds. If that's true, then Earth's position along its trajectory may not be a coincidence at all. And then Antarctica. A classified high-altitude balloon detected a sharp microwave burst centered precisely above the South Pole, synchronized with yet another shift in 3 I Atlas's trajectory. Seismic sensors across the frozen continent registered ultra-low frequency rumbles that matched the space-based pulses emanating from the object thousands of miles above. The visitor was no longer just passing through. It was interacting with Earth. Now, as 3I Atlas cuts through the asteroid belt, its coma extends an astonishing 700,000 kilometers across, half the diameter of the Sun. Its electromagnetic envelope is disturbing, the charged particles and magnetic fields of the belt in ways no one has ever observed. Some scientists warn that the gravitational and electromagnetic effects of such a large, active object could destabilize smaller asteroids, creating cascading effects or even redirecting bodies toward Earth. But others see something more profound. They believe 3I Atlas isn't just moving through space. 
it's rewriting it. The dust particles it sheds may be riding the natural electric currents of our solar system like a cosmic highway, potentially altering the interplanetary magnetic field itself. Its influence could linger long after it's gone, leaving behind a web of electromagnetic anomalies, a silent fingerprint of its passage. And as evidence mounts, a terrifying possibility emerges. What if this isn't our first contact at all? What if 3.I Atlas is part of an ancient system, dormant until now, activated by our own technological progress, signaling to something still on its way?